God help us all. Looks like we may be getting a A Force movie. Now, before I dive into detail with this, let's just let's just go to what's being reported. This is why we got this covered. They've been ahead of the curve on, on a couple of different things, according to their sources, in terms of what what is happening with the MCU. So you can say what you want about the platform itself or the publication. They've been right on a couple of things, so you can take it with a grain of salt, but I think it's worth paying attention to. And they're saying that they've heard that A-Force movie is in development, and their sources, the same ones who revealed that these other things that have already been confirmed, like She-Hulk, um, they're saying that Kevin Feige is planning an all-female team-up film based on the group that first appeared in 2015 in the comics. The lineup, they're told, is Valkyrie, Jane Foster's Thor, Captain Marvel, uh, Miss America. So, America, oh my God. Only one of these characters that aren't trash. You could argue that Valkyrie's not trash, but the Valkyrie then the MCU is, is absolute dog shit. But that's not the hidden deal. Let's let's just talk about the. Um, for those that aren't familiar with A Force, it was a team. It was like secret around the Secret Wars time. So that was a few years ago, but 2015 ish. It's a little over a few, few years ago. And it was all female Avengers team basically, and it was led by She Hulk, if I remember correctly. And the re and it, it bombed obviously because it sounds terrible, right? All female Avengers team sounds like crap like it just sounds like th it's a it's a forced sort of gimmick and that's exactly what it was and that's why it sucked it, it, it sucked and it, and it bombed now you're going to get those google you know those folks that w once this gets confirmed or if it gets confirmed you're going to have these people that are all over standing on twitter talking but yes i asked for this i so wanted an a-force movie granted i don't own any of these comics but i googled it five minutes ago and it sounds like something that i'm interested in you're going to get those normies it's inevitable. It happens every time. Suddenly when these characters appear that nobody fucking asked for. But the reason why this is a terrible idea, and I hope that it doesn't happen, you have to understand why the shit sucked in the first place. A-Force. It's not that there was an issue with there being a female team-up. It's that it was that big of a team-up. And also how just inorganic, it just wasn't organic at all. It was forced, which it would have had to been. And when you consider that all of these, these female characters come from these different walks of life, there was no reason for them to be teaming up like that, aside from the writers wanting that to be a thing. And it fucking bombed like it was supposed to. It, of course it was going to bomb. Nobody wants to buy, buy this shit. This is trash. But there's nothing, and, and a lot of people are going to counter the, these normie types, these arrogant normie types, not the normies that are fans of me. Those are the best normies in the world. But they're going to counter with, okay, you guys hate female characters. And it's not about that, you dipshits, right? Avengers didn't start out as an uh, as um, like an exclusively male squad. X Men same way. They both had female characters a part of the shit since they were created. You know what I mean? Uh, when you take into consideration the two biggest teams in, in, in Marvel, um, and you've had team ups in D both DC and Marvel where you have a, a you know quite a bit of, of female characters or duos and and and, and stuff like that. Certainly, if you deal with Wonder Woman. And, no, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is, is that it's just, it has to be organic. Like, when the males team up, there's no, for the most part, like, you don't get an all-male Avengers team, right? That's not really the the promotion. Like, well, look at this. A bunch of dude bros team it up to, you know, fight crime. Like, that's not what it is. They just fucking team up. That's it. They just fucking team up. And if it was like that, it would have been different. Like if you had a couple of a couple of these characters just organically team up where it was it was well written, it would have been fine. But when you try to just shoehorn a team together that are from these different walks of life, it makes no sense why they would be teaming up like this um, all together with absolutely zero males being present. It's it's like, bro, come on, like what the fuck is this? Like. 
I don't want to read this shit. And it has nothing to do with me not liking female characters. As you can see back there, I fucking love a hell of a lot of them. It was Wonder Woman in the top. Uh, it was kind of in the middle of the screen, right up there behind that. Yeah, right there. That's Wonder Woman. You can kind of see her behind my door. Um, I have no fucking problem. Storm's like one of my favorite characters, man. Top five, pants down, not even close. I have no problem with fucking team ups. Uh, even uh, I certainly obviously have no problem with team ups, but I don't even have a problem with a couple of females obviously getting together and, and linking up as long as it's organic, just like it is with the male characters. But an A Force movie would be the absolute shit because the concept was absolute shit, which is essentially a all female forced. And they go tell you about it. They can promote it as such. It's this uber hyper feminist horse shit. And, and that's the problem with it. That's the fucking problem with the A Force shit. And that's why it was doomed for failure. They set them. It has some of the most beloved characters that were part of the squad. Like, I don't know, who, who Vibe said is arguably the best uh, tokenized character that exists in terms of how she's been handled. And She Hulk. Like you, and she was the leader, right? And it still fucking was trash. So it's the concept and why the same reason why it was a bad idea in the comics, the same reason why it's going to get hella backlash, man. You're running yourself right into this. If Kevin Feige thinks this is a good idea. So hopefully this is one of the rumors that don't turn out to be true. You know what I mean? But if they're just going to be trying to push these characters, right? And build these characters up just to have them a part of this all female team where zero males are present. You're setting these motherfuckers up for failure. You're, you're just straight up setting them up for failure. 